you guys, John here. And Molly. What's been happening? Hello from Christchurch, New, New Zealand. Zealand. We're gonna be in New Zealand for just under a week or so, and we would love to take you guys on an adventure with us. So first stop, we've gotta go pick up our hire car. Let's go. <sighs> yes. Just hopped in the car and we're on. Before we head off on the road, we are just going to get some snacks and some supplies for the week. We're at a local grocery store called Packet Savior. Some of the goodies we picked up, pizza seasoned, pressed pretzels. Mm. We also got some New Zealand kettle popcorn and Greek tzatziki chips. So we just saw a sign on the side of the road. This is the Cookie Time factory outlet. Cookie Time is one of New Zealand's most famous brands of cookies. Let's go check it out. Yum, there's so many cookies. <laughs> So what are we getting? So we're gonna grab the salted caramel and milk chocolate cookies and the original chocolate chunk. Mm -hmm. I love anything peanut butter. I'm gonna try one of these. I can't really taste the peanut. Oh wait, there it is. Mm. There's a peanut butter. Quite a good cookie. Just making our way to Queenstown from Christchurch. It takes about five hours drive. We're hoping to stop along the way to a few lakes for some bird opportunities. But unfortunately, it looks like the sun's setting on us. I don't think we can make it in time. The next time we'll see you guys is when we get to Queenstown. See you there. Just kidding. We actually squeezed in a stop at Lake Tekapo to check out the iconic Church of the Good Shepherd. If we had a bit more sunlight and less wind, it would have been absolutely stunning. Hey guys, so we just came back from dinner and we've checked into our hotel. We're staying at a place called the Swiss Bell Resort in Coronet Peak here in Queenstown. All right, let's show you guys a little tour of the, the room that we've got here. Please ignore the mess. Bed, got a TV. So they've got a heater for us. Nice shower. Hello. Toilet. Not too shabs, not too shabs at all. Anyway. That was a very quick introduction of our first, I guess, day in Queenstown in New Zealand. We'll pick it up tomorrow morning. So, see you guys then. Good morning, guys. So, this morning we are in Arrowtown, which is really close to Queenstown, about a 20 minute drive. And we're here especially to look at all the beautiful autumn leaves. So, behind us is a really famous landmark of Arrowtown called the Chinese Settlement. across a little bakery here in Arrowtown. Let's grab some breakfast. All right guys, so I got a venison pie. So that's deer meat. I've never had venison pie before. So let's try it. So we're at our next destination, the Onsen Hot Pools. So guys, this is one of the most relaxing experiences we've had and to top it off, that view there is phenomenal. Another really cool thing about the onsen pools here is the river that we get to see. What you might be able to encounter are some of the speedboats that go through here. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Highly recommend this onsen pool guys. Check it out if you're in Queenstown. It will be an amazing experience for sure. This is what we have been waiting for. We've heard a lot about a burger. This is a heavy burger. 
So we've come here at 10 a.m. and having burgers for breakfast. This is the Ferg Deluxe Burger. Take a big bite. Wanaka or Wanaka, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. It's a town uh, about an hour away from Queenstown. There's a famous tree at Lake Wanaka which stands by itself in the middle of the lake. We're just coming back from Lake Wanaka to Queenstown but midway we've just come across something a little bit different that caught our eye. Welcome to Bradrona. So it's for the New Zealand Breast Cancer Foundation so you can stop by and make a donation. I'm not sure if you should donate your bra but you can I guess. Anyway, back on the road. Hey guys, so back in Queenstown. Queenstown is known for its extreme activities, so of course, while we're here, we had to do one of them. So we're gonna do a canyon swing. Looking forward to this, haven't done anything like this before. So let's go. Harness on for our canyon swing, and it's hitting me now. I'm getting kind of scared. So <laughs> funny. Uh, like the shire, like you saw around from that. Have you done anything like this before? No, 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 nothing extreme yet. Yeah. We survived the canyon swing! Oh my god, it was so amazing though. So John's gonna actually do another jump. I've had enough, one was enough, but it was awesome. My legs are still shaking. And it's actually pretty cold and windy today though, but you didn't even think about that. There are so many styles you can choose from to jump off the ledge. John's gonna do another jump and he's chose to do the chair style jump where you're strapped to a chair. <sighs> <laughs> That's cool. Highly recommended, man. I kind of feel somewhat accomplished. <laughs> Me too. 
Two swings, two swings. Off the bucket list. So good. I'll say the most scariest part of it is the when you're at the top and you're just about to jump off. It's just that feeling. Free fall. Knowing that you're gonna free fall for a bit. Once you start the free fall, it, it does get better. And once you're at the bottom, it's just beautiful. It's scenic, it's nice, it looks really good. All right guys, see you back in Queenstown. It's so windy in Queenstown. The seagulls are having trouble flying. Seagulls are just mid-air. Oh my god, they're so close. <laughs> hotel we're gonna have an early night today because we have to wake up about 4 or 5 a.m. tomorrow we've got another long drive to Milford Sounds really looking forward to it today was an absolutely jam-packed day we checked out Arrowtown we did the onsen pools followed by a really early lunch at Ferg Burger travel tip I would recommend going to Ferg Burger before 11 o'clock in the afternoon because once it hits lunchtime the lines are gonna be absolutely crazy you gotta be waiting in line for at least an hour. And I probably wouldn't recommend lining up for that long just for Ferg Burger. And my favorite part of today was the shot over Canyon Swing. It was awesome. The crew were really friendly. Marley would agree it was a really great experience and we'll definitely do it again. And finally had dinner at Smith's uh, Crafts and Beer. The burger there was bomb. It was awesome. Really good, really good burgers. The braised beef burger was like, woo, hello. Anyway guys, that's just a recap of what we did today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up for us. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just hit that subscribe button and you'll see more videos like this from us. We generally do food and travel related videos. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please hit subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them below. As always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.